In this video, we are discussing replicated joint pattern example. So we shall go for the implementation of this pattern. So this program takes posts.xml and users.xml file and joins the records. And we have to select the joint type while executing the task. So what kind of joining we are going to do that has to be selected. The joint types are the left, outer join, inner join and etc. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. In this example, we will be going to implement one replicated joint example which is falling under the joint pattern. Here we are having two XML files. One is the posts.xml which will be under the folder input post and then users.xml which will be under the folder input slash user. You can find here the post and user folder, subfolders are there under the input folder in the name node. So let me go for the, uh, let me show you that if you go for the post folder that is slash input slash post, you can find posts.xml is there. Now we will be going for this uh, slash input slash user and we shall be getting this users.xml there. Let me show you the file contents. So we're going for the file content. So at first we're uh, we're discussing that is a posts.xml within the posts tag. We're having the row tags. Multiple rows are there with multiple IDs, multiple attributes, ID, post type ID. These are the different other view count, then body. Then we're having this say uh, this last edit date. So so many attributes are there. See here, uh, just marking that one, highlighting that one for your understanding. We're having the tags. There is the answer count, comment count, favorite count, community own date and so on. So these are the multiple attributes we are having. Under users.xml, under the row we are having multiple IDs and all these rows are within this users tag. Users.xml is having so many different rows but I have shown some of them. So upvotes, downvotes, account ID and so on. So in this way you are getting the content of this. So let me go for the Eclipse. We are having only one class here. That is a replicate job a join MR task. It is a map only. So no reducer will be there. Within this class, we have defined one inner class. That is a replicate join comment user mapper, which extends mapper. Within this mapper, we have defined one variable, one object. That is a user map of hash map type, which will take string and string as key value. We are having this output value of the type of text and join type of the type of string. So there is a join type. We are overriding the setup method. In the setup method, we are having, uh, we are checking the context.get cache files. If it is not equal to null and context.get cache files dot length is greater than zero, then we are just uh, defining one file object that is a user file. So this rest of the code will be there. User file is equal to new file dot slash users. And then buffer reader object has been defined. So after define after initializing that file uh, object that is a user file, we are going for this buffer reader object also. Then within the while, before going into the while, we are having the line. If the line is equal to buffer reader dot read line, so we'll be reading line by line. XML parse is there. So one map object XML for parse which will be initialized with this XML to map uh, method. So let me go for the XML to map method. This method will take one XML file as input and returns one hash map object as output. So here we are having this XML to map uh, method. This method will take XML as input and hash map object as output that will instantiate our XML parsed. So from the XML parsed, we are going for dot get ID. So the ID will be uh, okay, taken in this user ID. If user ID is equal to, is equal to null, then continue. I shall, I shall not go for the rest part of the code. Otherwise, user map dot poop put user ID comma line. So we're just putting this this one user ID and the line content will be put onto this user map. We have kept it in the try catch block. We have kept it in the try catch block. And you know we are having this buffer reader we have just made that one close. And here you can see that we have join type has been initialized with is equal to context dot get configuration dot get join dot type. So after closing this buffer reader, we are, we are just going for this join type. So join type is equal to context dot get configuration dot get join dot type. So regarding this join dot type, we'll be discussing that one later. So here we'll be selecting only two types of join. One is the inner 
and the one is the left outer now this is my map method within this map method we are having this xml parsed there is a map object again it is getting instantiated using this xml to map which you did earlier also this xml to map i i use that one earlier also yes at the line number 39 xml xml to map we are having this string uh, owner id so from the xml dot xml parts dot get user owner user id we are initializing owner id if owner id is null then i shall return map will not get executed rest part so user info is equal to user map dot get owner id so now user info will be initialized against this particular owner id the user info if user info is not equal to null the output value will be set with the user info and you will be writing onto the context that is key value pair value and output value so that will be written onto the context temporarily else if join dot type equals ignore case left outer if it is left outer then we will be writing this one as value comma new text null so if we are getting the match then we will be writing the value and output value otherwise we will be writing value and null because there is a left outer join so now let me discuss our main function let me discuss our main function here we have we require four arguments so first one is the class name then post input folder user file location output folder then output folder then we are having the fourth argument it should be either inner or left outer so if the argument length is not equal to four then you shall exit now from the fourth argument that is the arx3 will be initializing the join type so join type should be either equal to inner or left outer if it is not that then error message will be printed join type not set to inner or left outer and system dot exit too so here the program will get terminated now we shall define one job instance we shall define one job instance so here the name of the job is replicated join to posts and users so this is the job name we are defining one job instance get configuration join type comma join type join dot type comma join type and jar file class has been set jar file class has been set replicated join mr tux dot class so this join type we have taken this one from the fourth argument as i discussed earlier also again i'm repeating it should be either inner or left outer set mapper class will be initialized but before that just see join dot type we used earlier here we use the join dot type see the line number in the line number 54 we have used this join type in the line number 54 here we have used this join type now that has been uh, that has been initialized by the input argument that is argument number four now we are just uh, setting the mapper class the mapper class name has been set and reducer there will be no reducer to reducer count is zero input path has been set with this arc zero that is the first argument and output path has been set with the third argument that is the arc two that is output path so output key class will be text type output value class will be also text text type text dot class and add job add cache file will be that that one that is a new uri arg1 plus slash user so it, it is a we are doing this concatenation that is a second argument plus this hash users and depending upon the job completion status 0 or 3 the value will be returned so now let me let me create the respective jar file now so you shall be going for the package and then right button click and then export and you shall give the path and the jar file name as we did for other uh, cases so then we'll be creating the jar file i have created the jar file already so i'm skipping this particular step so we have supposed to go for this export there so now going for the terminal so here is the command we are having here is the command so hadoop jar then we'll be going for the jar file name along with the path at first and then join pattern dot jar is the jar file name replicate join is the package name so next one will be the replicate join will be the package name and then replicate join mr task will be the class name then we're going to have that folder that is the input post and then input user then users.xml we are also mentioning users.xml output folder and here we require the joining as inner 
here we require the joining as inner let me execute the command instead of inner also we can go for left outer because two options were there in our hand so let me go for the execution of this command you know that in case of left outer join so all the all the records all the rows will be coming from this posts.xml and those records will be coming from the users.xml whenever there is a match otherwise that will be printed as null null string is there so all the records will be coming from the left hand side there is a there is, a, there is a first one whatever you are mentioning and next one is my users users.xml so inner join means all the records will be coming from the left and those records will be coming from the right which are having a match so let me go for the content printing of this part file so that you can see sdfs dfs minus cat slash output slash part star yes now let me press enter so this is a content this is a content you can see the long content are there so all records will be coming from posts those records will be coming from users for the joining wherever id will match there is a left outer join so we have discussed each and every step into details each and every java code we have explained i think now you are comfortable to work in this example let me show you some rows with how the things are coming let me mark some of the rows there let us consider mm, we're having so many so many rows are there all the rows are coming from posts so let us go for one row marking say mm, this one row there's last one i'm just marking id is 256058 and the other details are there there is another row which is having a post involved so that's why it is a long row the content in this we can you can go through the content whatever has been produced you can see the, all the ids are there whatever there the score the view count the body and so on everything is there that is that is a complete row comment count answer count and so on there is another row reputation creation date display name last access date views up votes down votes account id everything is there so i think now you are comfortable to work in this example so what we shall do we shall delete the output folder so that we can execute the other map to star so we will be going for this and then minus rm minus r and then output thanks for watching